I think very quickly, or very often, and very easily do we forget that at one point we all used to piss and shit on ourselves. And sometimes, quite frankly, we, we, you know, we all don't, we all don't wipe well. No matter how old we think we are, no matter how mature we think we are, you know, you're gonna find, you're gonna come across somebody who's twice your age who didn't wipe well this morning. And I, and I say all this just to say is that, man, so this society has done a, a very great job at convincing us that people should have domain over our choices. You know, you got the government making decisions for you, you had your parents making decisions for you, your teachers, poverty. Everybody and everything wants to speak for you, but you're left with the bill all the time. All right? So when I say all that, you're left with, you're left with the bill of things that you didn't necessarily sign up for. That should be freeing in the regard as like, Who's, nobody's going to save me but me So in order for me to save myself I got to do my thing I got to do things the way I want to I want to do it You know My parents wanted me Wanted me to be a doctor But I'd rather focus on something More of the artistic realm I'm doing myself a disservice By signing up to do that Alright That's why a lot of people are depressed now You bought into so many things Of, of Okay well, It's supposed to be this way It's supposed to be that way but it doesn't even resonate with you. But you you bought into it. You didn't lost your identity. You missed out on who you who you could have been. All right. And I'm not one to say it's too late. But as you get older, it becomes harder to, to change your ways, especially when you're like set in uh, your your career or, or or anything like that. But it, it's just very imperative that you always tell the truth. And in order to always tell the truth, you have to understand what that even means to you. You have to live your truth. All right. And and, th and this is why I'm not the type of person who's anti-gay or anti-trans or anti uh, even anti-racist. I mean, if that's who you are, man, that's who you are. Like, I wish healing on all. You know, you know, just just speaking to racism because you know it's linked to having low IQs. Um, but I mean, it's not a hundred percent true. But you know, I I wish understanding. I wish understanding in many events. I wish understanding upon myself because there are things that I just don't understand that I may never understand. But that being the case is why I don't I'm I don't debate with people. I don't like the to debate I don't like to argue I'm getting away from that I have argued you know recently but I, I try to get away from that because people are going to see the world the way they want to see it I you know I like to put out like blanket advice and things like that and maybe it'll apply to you and stuff like that but you know I, I don't want to I don't want to make your rules because I got to play it fair I don't want nobody making my rules I don't want nobody telling me how I'm going to live and the contributions that I'm going to make and, and how I'd benefit as a result and how the people who receive what I do will benefit as a result I got to I got to do it my way and I understand that at, at your workplace it doesn't leave a lot of room to be yourself possibly it doesn't leave a lot of room for creative endeavors for you to push the envelope for you to change the status quo so you really have to find a way to calibrate that so how can you bring in your true essence uh, to, to your workplace all right maybe it's you not trying so hard to sound like something that you're not to be something that you're not okay so it starts with the character and then also what you do outside of that is very important okay so I think, you know, I, I don't think that it's a good practice to you, you be at work. You know, let's say let's say as a black man, because this is a pretty good example. But as a black man, you go to work and you try to sound like your white co-workers to fit in. And then when you then when you leave, you have a different demeanor about you. You know, you feel like you have to assimilate to make yourself seem smarter. But you can be smart no matter how you talk you know you can be a genius in your own right no matter how, how you speak you know that's just a, that's 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 the case for me you know I, I i would know 
You know, because I, I don't necessarily talk like something you would hear on a, a radio station or something you would hear on the news. And, you know, I don't properly enunciate my words all the time. And, you know, I say everything instead of everything. But that's look, that's my own little spin, man. That's my own little flavor. And it makes a difference. You know, it, that small little thing like, oh, maybe I should say everything. That, that makes a little difference because then you start questioning other things. Like, damn, did I just say father? I meant father. Like, you know, granted, you, you want to evolve the way you can, but if you got it down pack, you got it down pack, man. Like, I'm not, I, I feel like the people who try to correct me the most probably need the most correcting. You know what I'm saying? It's because they have bought into their chains, you know, so deeply that they want to share it with other people. You know what I'm saying? So, the, Okay, they bought into being a slave so well that they start to get uh, house Negro privileges, or they you know they start to uh, they get to be an overseer. Okay, so now they want to oversee other slaves, and if anybody try to get away, like no no no, bring it in, bring it in, buddy. You're a slave with me. Ain't no running away. Ain't no running away. When you can allow people to be free in their own rights, you know what I'm saying? It'll be a blessing to have that position to be an overseer and you can allow people to get away even if it causes your it costs you your own life. I mean, what are we living for if we if other people can't benefit from our existence? Alright? And one way that I found for people to, you know, benefit from my existence is to be completely to to keep it real with myself. You know, it it's not an easy thing. It's be, it's a natural thing, but it's not easy for me because what I'm left with is the resentment from people who who aren't free in their own right. Who you know who may have this envy about them because I'm living my life the way that I want to. It's not exactly, but probably probably more than most. Um, but I'm just. I, this is what I call bravery in my in my own regard. I'm, I'm trying to be brave. I'm trying to show courage, so other people may be free in their own right. This is why I make these videos. I'm not even getting paid. Like, I'm just doing. This is my going out swinging tour. This is for people who have felt lost in one way or the other. Feel like you know, nobody can relate to them feel like they really need some type of game and I don't know how good I'm doing but I'm doing something all right this is my truth right now all right this is this is how I can do one take videos and feel like I don't have to change anything or even get a better quality camera although I do and I'm, I'm just talking on my phone right now because this just hit me you know but do your thing man like even if slowly but surely even if you're shaking even if you you know, your heart goes into your stomach when you speak your truth. You do it, and you get strong as a result of it. But the more you shy away from it, the bigger the mountain. And this is the type of mountain that's forever leaning. And you got to, it's a its a ticking time bomb in a sense. There's a timer on it because eventually that mountain's going to fall on you. All right? And it's going to fall on you because it was on unsteady uh, foundation. The, the foundation wasn't stable enough. And it wasn't stable because you never quite bought into the, the the soil to begin with. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's all. I want to make sure I don't get hit by a car. Almost dead earlier, but and man, live your own truth. All right. Is that there's nothing there's nothing wrong with you. The only thing that may be wrong with you is your perception. You buying into what other people have to say about you. Still focus on optimization. You know what it is. Like and subscribe.